open mic, make a shitload of noise, and welcome up Anthony Rock. Applaud, applaud, applaud! There were times more often than not that we fought, like gladiators seeking to draw blood. And there were times too when I was sure we would had it not been for the mediator, your wife, my mother, standing her ground between us, separating us from each other. But the moment she turned her back, we sprung back to match, fighting with the intensity of two men who knew that they were wrong, yet knew just the same that it'd be okay as long as they could prove to each other that they were right. Oh, the times we would fight. But I had trouble accepting you, like a hospital patient in dire need for an organ donor. The moment I received my transplant father, my body rejected you. Infected with an adolescent mind, I butted heads with you, pushing every button of yours that I could find. The truth of the matter that I see now was blind to you then, and that all lesser men than you would have seen from the very beginning, is that I needed you in a way that you didn't need me. I needed a man to look up to, to aspire to be, a man to teach all the things that a boy thinks a man should be. But I couldn't tell you that because you didn't need me. I was a rotten apple that fell from a different family tree. My roots not connected to yours. And even though you loved my mother, you needed me about as much as you need an asshole on your elbow. I was a seed that you had not sown, but had been left to do the reaping. And despite all this, I did my best at keeping you away. You and I, we don't share a bloodline, which saddens me in a way that as I age, I won't see your physical traits slowly becoming mine. I won't see, I won't have the mirror to remind me when you're gone that I'm the sum of an equation that is one part my mother's and one part yours, even though it was you that helped raise me, even though you were the high tide. Get closer to the mic. Even though you were the high tide that always brought my ship back to shore. And there were times that we would fight with a stubbornness that would make donkeys seem complying. We would send words flying, not caring where they hit. And I remember once, and only once, where I dropped a bomb that the damage it had caused could not be undone. In the midst of an argument about what I can't recall, something completely insignificant, I'm sure, I shouted at you. You were not my father. I remember for the first time, you and I were completely silent. I remember right away that I wanted to say I hadn't meant it, but I said nothing, and you walked away. I remember that night I cried, and I remember how hard my mom tried to get me to apologize, but I didn't, because I couldn't. The truth of the matter that I see now was blind to you then, and that all lesser men than you would have seen from the very beginning is that you were not my father, as in I was not your kin. I was not your creation even though you helped raise me. I was nothing to you. And I feel that I knew that without knowing that the night you walked away refusing to say anything, sharing with me a silence that if broken would spark tears, even though you had already been raising me for years, you didn't have to stay. You had no primal instinct to protect me from every trial and tribulation that the world has subjected me to because I am not the legacy to your name, which saddens me in a way that my birth certificate bears the mark of a ghost, not the last name of the man that did the most to make me who I am. I am reminded on a daily basis that you, were, that you didn't have to raise me, that you didn't have to grace me with your collected wisdom of the world. I am reminded on a daily basis that I was a troubled child. And that even when I spent my free time redefining the word wild, not once did you leave my side. So this is for all the times that we would fight. And you would have every, every right to slap me across the face, to put me back in my place, but you never did. This is for all the times that... Uh, it's for all the times that I didn't appreciate you. For the times that you participated in my life and I refused to say thank you. This is for the time I called you, totally frantic, from a bathroom just before a job interview when I realized I had no idea how to tie a tie. This is for all the times that I was wrong. Instead of rubbing it in my face, you stood by my side and told the world that I was right. This is for teaching me what tool to use for what job. And that if something isn't broken, then I don't need to fix it. But if it's fixed wrong, then I need to break it. This is for being my father when no one else would bother. And above all, this is to say thank you for everything that you've done and to let you know how proud I am to call myself your son. Thank you.